guys and girls, here is your Rage of Nader again, and today I'm going to continue Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. Last time, well, we escaped a jailhouse block uh, with some complicate some complications which contained a warden, the admin, Stella, etc, etc, etc. But we could escape with Prisoner X, the prisoner whom ever whom everyone is afraid of, which is well I think a good thing, cause we got her on our side. Well, let's dive in. Episode four. Well, come on, load. Episode 4 Below the bedrock, our he heroes take a journey to a forgotten, lo long forgotten land. When nothing is quite what it seems, a danger lurks around every corner. Will Jesse new Jesse's new alliances and friendships withstand the tests they face? Um, well, let's see. Start episode 4. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The admin. A villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a foe? Who's never exactly as he seems. Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. True. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Radar, you're true. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Pow. Only, uh, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. <laughs> Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest, no way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Nermi's part of the team. We needed Nerm with us. He's part of the team. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. So was Luna. <laughs> Luna is just a llama, I mean, come on. Who are you kidding to, Radar? Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first oh, world, created wow, by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he hmm. bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. It'd be hard to see your world like this. Yeah. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long yeah. enough for the world to change. Longer if you'd had your way back there. Yeah. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this. Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than <laughs> 
Romeo, the Advent. Ah, <laughs> love it. This is okay. the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and you watched your friend die. That's awful. Yep. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Yeah. True. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? It's an Enderman! Shit! That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. Oh, crap. You like toying with the basic order of things. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Keep it calling! Would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin creating monstrosity. Uh -huh. Time to move, guys. <laughs> Yo! <gasps> so mesmerizing! Uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry, Jesse! Ah, come on! I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Uh, go, go! Going! Ah. Oh, whoa! Oh, ow. I'm oh. getting damaged. Thanks. <laughs> it's dismantling the tower. What? I die? Wait! Thanks. Death too! Dismantling the tower! Oh, that's what I have to do. Okay. I was confused uh, at first as I saw the. My town isn't far from here. I'll screen. lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Ah, uh, thank you, I guess. What? Do, do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Uh, yeah. Telltale Games presents. Association with Moja. Minecraft Star Mode Season 2. Hahaha. <laughs> Oh, they're crawling around there. <laughs> nice sight. Okay, that was the camera up. Little zombie. Ah, the Enderman. Giant Enderman. Which I was which I'm pretty afraid of. Okay, spider. Uh, big, uh, Is this place safe? I mean, you know, not asking for me, cause, cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State of the art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. Self-sustaining city. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. What? Uh, what happened to it? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. 
Hey. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Yeah. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal. It's okay. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and um, it made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nermi, no. Come on, pal. No. I know it's kind of hard to think about, but Luna really is safer in the Sunshine Institute. Fighting the admin could be really dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <gasps> Look at this! My bed! Huh? Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? Wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. Sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Huh? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this, if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara. If you built it once, you can build it again. Yeah. You're the best inventor in the... Underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even better? I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pitch. Let ah. me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Ah, uh, come on. See what I can do. Spiders. Really? Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just oh, this place really? Is Run on ahead! Never say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. 
Red Keep, here we come. Uh, Jesse? Ah, come on. Oh, no. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're still okay as long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm okay! Go! Oh, need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. Yeah, we're kind of stuck here. Can you help us out? Uh, maybe. Depends, really. Yeah, depends. We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die! <laughs> the first one! Pick the first one! I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there, pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises. Especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Yeah. Folks, down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> Splat. No deal! Yeah, well that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies. Well, this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast! Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, <laughs> tried to tell ya. <laughs> Move out, you stink bags! Jack! Did we lost Jack? Oh, please don't. Jack? Sorry about your pal. Hope that sword was worth it! <laughs> See ya! Jesse! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Where's Jack? He didn't make it. Perfect muscle memory, remember? Bet he's had to dive off a cliff or two in his day. Uh, you heard.
her, Jesse. He's gonna be okay. Come on. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Strangers! Strangers! Vita! What do we do here, Jesse? We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Vinta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? We're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, no, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of <laughs> nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. Contest? It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. You have to help me. This is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. Really? This place is weird. You are wow, you are really cute. Serious fetch artist. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Go get it. <laughs> Faked out. to Wanda. Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. <laughs> Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Okay. Taught myself to paint like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. 
Get that done, prompt like. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. So that's Fred, huh? Okay, what do I have to... Uh, okay... I don't have enough materials to make anything. Really? Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. This here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? Uh, How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? those resources I gave you sacrificed my hands to get them can't get there okay, they are talking Nurm talk to I know you miss him. Oh. Oh. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Punch dead bush. Nice. Sticks, okay. Petra, talk to. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Can't. So. So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Uh, okay. Hilda, talk to. Let's talk to Hilda. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Yes. Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. It's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Okay, that's a prep uh, fact. bye. Got a fat pack, that's good.
cat. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Uh, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away, nice and non-threatening. Actual heck. Radar. Like water in a bucket ha, becomes the bucket. Need some help? Oh, uh, that, that's okay. I, I, I got it. <laughs> Didn't know you were uh, right there watching me do that. Anyway. The Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. I bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. It's up to us to protect them. We're the only thing standing between them and the admin. And we will. We'll make sure nothing bad happens to them. Yes. Look. If there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. <sighs> I can definitely use these. Fred's favorite color, not just any blue, lapis blue. Lapis, lapis blue. Lapis blue. Perfect. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> Ready to begin? Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now. Hopefully, the answers gather are not Gather around, enough. everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Okay, how do I do that? Blue clay. Uh. Um... Oh gosh, again building. Um, uh, how do I do that? Um, I 
Okay. Okay. Let's see. I have to do it. Oh gosh, I'm bad. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm so out already. Okay, wait a sec. Um this this no this 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 Wait a sec. Probably ha just have to build the hat. I try my best guys and guys, I try my best. I'm not the best builder at, uh, after all. I try it from up here. Nice. Top down. Yes, yes, yes. Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I had not so much. 
I declare this round a draw. A draw. <laughs> this was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Yes. Question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. <laughs> What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is yeah. one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You, uh... Yes. Yes! Birch yeah! was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only He's the crying. champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I love them. Thank you. I won fair and square. <laughs> I want fair and Jesse, square. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, let's see. Huh, kind of cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Secret room. There's got to be something down here. Look at it. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> is Romeoburg. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief.
interesting, but not really what I need. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. The cabin? Interesting. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait. Home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Vinta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. And it was shared with me in great confidence before... Well... Before this place was considered underneath. I, uh, I actually guessed. I suppose there's always a chance, but that seems unlikely. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. But I must admit, I'm curious. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. Yep. Oh? Fred mentioned a cabin where he, Zara, and Romeo live. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now, he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to give this up? I mean, if Fred gave it to you. I think he would have understood how much more you need it right now. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Okay. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. Nerm. We can't just leave you here by yourself. But Nurm, you can't stay. We need you with us. I think he said Jack needs him more. <laughs> we understand, Nurm. <laughs> he says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe. No. 
Nerm. Now we also lost Nerm. First we lost um, Stella. Then we lost Xara. Ah, uh, not lost, but yeah. Then we lost Jack. Then we lost now Nerm. Our team is pretty small now. Three people now? Me. Man, I can't believe Petra, how obsessed those people were with Radar. that Fred guy. So weird, right? I mean, were they really that different from you with Jesse? I. What? No! It, I, I am a stone cold professional! My interest in Jesse was completely professional! Don't be so sensitive, Radar. Petra's just teasing you. <laughs> I know, I know. Just a little too real. Sorry, Radar. I, I just tease because I love. <laughs> tease. You'll regret it, Petra. So, You'll regret it. Uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Tracks out. Everybody brace yourselves. <laughs> uh. Uh. Uh, rough ride. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's uh, up with you? Um, I would say that's a witch. Or uh, what you can call a witch. Who is that? What the? Does he want to be happy? What the heck? Dude. What is he doing? Oh, whoa! I know fights like that. Ha, huh? who is that? You <laughs> are the real Jesse. Ivor. Ivor? <clears throat> yes. It is I. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. I'm master more, Shadows I, this, this is insane. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes! Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors. All as part of my so-called training. At first it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, Strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Huh? Yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. Okay. It's so good to see you. Interesting. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Get in here, Petra! What? No, no! <laughs> so awesome! But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain! You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously At least we're vanished. Now. After finding a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin, Taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? 
Yeah, that's not right. Wow, I gotta admit, the admin cooked up a pretty smart plan. That's good. Are you kidding me? Jesse's right. Now the admin gets to be Jesse and have admin powers. Pretty good deal. Jesse, aka the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible. But dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you saw nothing. You saw we nothing. And it's all gone. <laughs> just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. <laughs> Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Pedra seems pretty bored. She might need some action. Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along. Don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. Well, let's, be Whoa, cool. let's cool it on the army. We're all friends here. That is exactly what a non-friend would say. Yeah, non-friend. Ooh, I'm afraid you leave us no choice. Hey, army! You too, Jeff. Let's take these invaders out. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the... Biggest army you've ever heard, right here. Is that an audio disc? 
You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapet? Fine. You have outfoiled us. We don't have an army. Mm, yeah, I know, but uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. We're here to defeat Romeo and stop all of his challenges. Help us help you. Uh, help us. Yeah! Logically, we're helping you more than you're helping us, which wouldn't help us help you, but helping us would help us help you more than you've ever helped anyone, so... Ah, my brain hurts. I can't argue with your word magic. <laughs> the gate! On it! <laughs> the, the, the gate, yeah, the, the real gate. Right, on it! <laughs> Whoa, weird llama. She must smell Luna on you. Yeah. This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Again, building. I'm not a builder. Really. Okay, I start with the. And move with the ground. Myself, how, how high I can um, build. So, I missed some spots, okay. Great. That makes a good, great builder, not.
Man, it looks like I can peanuts. Don't worry. I don't want that to look like a like what? It's terrible. It looks like a cert. Kinda. I'm not quite done. Give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Just caught a mosquito. Okay. Organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goop balls. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Who am I? What, what do I take? Straps and straps? A armor number? Villain cute? Dented and danger? Please don't hit me. Lava brownish? Goofball glory? And the tooth chipper? Armor number seven. I think I take the tooth chipper.
luck. Oh, you poor doomed souls. Okay, I've got no idea what's coming to me. I just know that there will be some tests. Like in the last episode. Or was it the pretty last episode? I don't know. The cabin must be through that door. Hopefully. Oh no! Pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? This just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? I'll cover you. On it! Yeah. 
playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water, too. Radar and I will be the bait. We're fine! What the heck? I just I pressed the button. I see your smile. No one is smiling. Yeah, true. No one's smiling. There's a crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water too. Radar and I will be the bait. We're fine. Anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set! Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready! Fire incoming! Whoa! Just need four sand blocks, quickly! Close deal. Oh, you've done it. 
That was a close deal. Let's get out of here before we stumble on a hidden stage. Take a look around. Okay. Look at the flowers. So strange to see flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bedrocking. seem to be anybody around nobody inside should be safe safe ish safe ish yeah let's just get that weapon and get out of here remember i used to read all the time now i barely do things change yeah like the one we used to have back at the treehouse till someone you broke it uh-huh <sighs> petra what's wrong and uh, nothing it just reminds me of uh this this story about puppies really sad story you know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens. I get it. Puppies always make me cry, too. Their cute little faces. Their little wagging tails. They're stupid. I mean, uh, paws? <sighs> it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... I kind of thought you liked it that way. You always had this, I don't need anybody thing going on. I know. I just thought I could convince myself, I guess. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. 
held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. I know we've drifted apart, but there's still time to fix it. I know I can do more to keep everyone together. Yeah. I want to believe you, but you can't just fix everything. Yeah, it's true. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. <sighs> Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? For Zara, the book, another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting, the key to ending all this would be here where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable and not a very good one. I don't care how silly it sounds, as long as it works. Yeah, I guess, just, Potato? Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato451. Nah, take this word dumb. of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. Mm. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. Yeah. They really cared about each other. True. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Mm. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Yeah, true. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line, too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how friendship is my thing. But I don't think I can just stay put, you know? In Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean... A lot to me, Jesse. I... 
more than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... I'll be right by your side. I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, then so is mine. <laughs> Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. <laughs> we'll see. We'd better get that book back to the world. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. All right. There we go. She did it. This is it then. It's time to call the others. We're getting out of here. reason to keep things away we're still missing nerm right that won't be a burden sounding pretty adminish there zara the weapon is what we need not bodies to throw at the problem people just complicate things make everything messy inefficient no, no one, one gets left no behind. one gets left behind ever i mean that's not exactly true Yes, that furry one. The weird horse. You left her in the prison. But we, we needed... Well, from now on, then. Might be your downfall, waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. No, it isn't at all. <clears throat> Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. That's the spirit. It. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. Fred wouldn't improve. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, <sighs> cut down. I can't let it stand. We'll Romeo make. did awful things. We'll make sure he pays for them. Glad to hear it. I'm not. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. Okay. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Uh. Oh. Come on. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. True. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. <laughs> uh, Jesse? Uh... No, 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 ah! Oh. No, 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 no! Everyone, get out of its way! Whoa! You've got to be kidding me! It's the Fred folk! Those are 
not the people from Fred's Keep. Those are mobs. Oh, just what we needed. Dios mio. I me a bed when I had been so unhelpful. Go. Mobs don't stand a chance. Romeo! Uh, Raider! Jesse, help! Raider! Me. I'm really not tasty, I'm not! I know that Enderman wouldn't really eat Radar, but... Oh! Dia! Are you serious? You let Jesse go! Don't you have any decency? It is not cool to go around smashing everything up, making a mess, and grabbing people! Ah! Eat this! He is brave. He's pretty brave, if you ask me. Ow! Check. Looks like all my training for the marsh hoppers of the Harline swamps totally paid off. I thought I lost Check. him. Huh? Ho oh, ho! Okay, let's go. You thought a little fall will get the better of the velvet tornado? Please. For Fred's keep! Go! <laughs> That's Not what I call friendship. Just taste of monster hide. It's hungry. Yeah! Okay, let's see what the Enderman does. We have to repair the building, otherwise that Enderman is never gonna leave us alone. Yo, uh, Andy. <sighs> Something here, and I want to help. 
no way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. They get left behind. <laughs> Enderman is after me. I can buy you time. You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Return You're with important Radar. to me, Radar. I can't let you do that. I can't lose you. But the people. If anyone understands how to stay alive down here, it's them. <laughs> Best thing we can do for them is stop the admin. Time just ran out. Everyone get to the portal. Mystery portals ever. What Nerm said. That was not a quality three point landing. <laughs> Don't hurt me. I'm a. Uh, give me a second. We're in the roller coaster. It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. Oh my! This... this is where Soren forged the amulet of the Order of the Stone! This dirt touched their heroic feet! And now it's touching mine! Oh no! Oh no, I'm ruining it! I'm not worthy! Oh, the dirt is warm. Does the dirt feel warm to everyone else? You're a hero too, Radar, just like the Order. You saved us more than once down there. I did, didn't I? It would have been nice to show Binta and the others what our world looks like. I hope they're okay. Did you see that? Oh dear. Oh dear, what's going on? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that... Below the Bedrock, episode 4. Lucas! Oh, no. Jesse! Man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? Oh, no. I'm sensing bad things happening with Lucas. Oh no. Guys and gods, next time we play above and beyond. But till then I say, see you in the next part of the video. Whatever you call, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section, ring the notification button. See ya, you're a Bye.